What's up everybody, it's Mark from the Refractor Line live every Wednesday, 5.30 Eastern on twitch.tv slash the Refractor Line. So, let's talk some MetaZoo strategy. Uh, when we were reviewing the first edition cards, building our own decks, we came across one that we used for every deck we made and we could not come up with a reason to exclude it. This card needs to be in every build, period. And that card is the Major Buffer Power Up Red. The spell add 100 damage and 100 life point to the target beastie. It also says the beastie it is under will lose and cannot gain immortality. That's fine, there's not enough beasties that have immortality. But a 100 damage bonus is huge. That is more life than all but 6 beasties. There's the Alpha Iceman at 120. Abominable Snowman, 120. Babe the Blue Ox, 110. Sinkhole Sam, 120. Card of Giant, 120. And our Slide Rock Bolter, 170, which is the big guy. But, if you have 60, 70 initial damage on top of that, because it's an additional damage, 100 damage, including your initial attack, you would wipe out all of these in one hit. There's not a single, be there's not a single card in the deck that would survive one hit, unless it was buffed itself. All of that for three aura. You see on the top, that's the aura cost. It's three of any type of aura. So it could be used by any deck build. You're going to, if you're going to go strong, one type of aura, it doesn't matter. This could be used by any type. This makes any beastie you have one of the strongest in the arena. Period. So you could either buff a small guy or make a strong guy untouchable. So this is needed in all decks. You can make some super strong pairings with power up red. Pair it with the BC that's a trait bloodsucker, like the Chupacabra. In the top left, you'll see of the card, you'll see some fangs and some teeth. That's the symbol for bloodsucker. Bloodsucker, you recover life points equal to the damage dealt. Now, with a 100 damage bonus, you'll be doing a lot of damage, recovering a lot of life points. So, here's an example. We're going to be going against a powerful, abominable snowman. And let's say it's snowing out as well. The abominable snowman's attack would do 35 plus 25 damage Terra bonus for 60 total damage. The Chupa Chupacabra would attack back and do 120 damage, destroy the snowman, and gain all of his life back with Bloodsucker. It'd be like nothing happened. What a great pairing. Another super strong pairing would be the trait First Strike. In the top left, that's the symbol of the sword cutting through the air. Attacks that would be defended are now defended by a 100 plus damage attack that will always go first, unless the attacker themselves has first strike. So if the attacking beastie does not, does not have enough life points, they would be destroyed first before their attack is even made. So here's an example where we give Quetzalcoatlus the red power up. So they get the 100 damage and 100 life points. And they're gonna go against a couple bad guys, some tough beasties. We got Tizhuruk and Mothman. Now if you look, let's also make it nighttime and city. So the Mothman attack would do, the winged attack would do 100 damage plus the two terror bonuses of 25 and 25, so 150 total damage. The problem is attacking Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus has the first strike, so he's going to go first. So he will do the 130 damage, killing Mothman before he even gets his attack off. So, it, it's like it would never happen. And same with the Tizhurak. They could attack as well. Quetzalcoatlus will, get, will do the first strike and wipe them out. Do more life points than they have. Do more damage than life points than they have before they even get the attack off. So, here's an example of two super strong pairings. There are many traits, like Spirit, Magic Proof, you know, other pairings out there. And if, if you have another, another one that you really like, that you usually like, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear it. If your opponent has power up red, don't fret. There are ways to counter it. First and simplest way is using something that destroys like a death beam. That will instantly destroy the beastie, so it doesn't matter that it's a 100 life point bonus. Another is fear. When contracted, target a beastie and flip a coin. If heads, target beastie return to, returns to opponent's chapter. And when it returns to the chapter, the red power up goes to the cemetery, so it is removed from the arena. Next is scared. This is an attack effect. It affects beasties. Flip a coin. If heads, beastie is scared. Whenever a beastie would be fatigued, flip a coin. If tails, beastie is returned to owner's chapter. If heads, scared is removed. So, the same deal. Once it returns to the, the caster's hand, 
red power up goes to the cemetery. Next is confusion. It affects beasties. If BC is confused when they would deal damage with an attack, flip a coin. If tails, it damages itself. If heads, attack goes on as normal. So because of the damage bonus, the tails, it might kill itself. So you might get lucky here by using that and having it take itself out. Now, these are the ways to, to stop it, to counter it. Now, if you can't, can't stop it, you can only hope to contain it. So here are some ways to neutralize it, just contain it. Using Frozen. Affects artifacts and beasties. When a page is inflicted with frozen, fatigue it. A frozen page cannot awaken. It will have however many turns of frozen, and whenever how many turns is reduced to zero, awaken it immediately. Any damage inflicted outside of the initial attack will remove frozen from the page. So it's just sitting there frozen, not attacking its extra 100 damage. Next is paralyze. When inflicted with paralyze, flip a coin. If heads, the page is paralyzed. Paralyzed pages cannot attack or defend and have no effect text. Paralyzed is removed at the end of next turn from when it was inflicted. So, again, a short amount, only a turn here, but you can keep paralyzing. Next is sleep. Affects beasties. Flip a coin. If heads, target is sleeping. Fatigue the beastie and it cannot awaken under any circumstances. When a sleeping page is target of an attack or takes damage outside of the initial sleep causing attack, double the damage, remove the sleep indicator, and awaken it. So this can last indefinitely as long as you don't touch it. So this is a little trickier. So go get yourself power up red and add it to your deck. It is a must for all builds due to its high strength, low aura cost, and versatility with all types of aura. So go get this, go find it, add it to your deck, make yourself a better player. And uh, let me know, are there any other cards out there, any other pages that you add to your decks? So it's a must have in every deck. Do you do a Chaos Crystal in every one? I thought about it. I'm unsure. I don't know if I could come up. Maybe there's a reason because the artifact has such low hit points that you wouldn't... I don't know. I don't know. But let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think. And come check us out. 5.30 Eastern on Twitch.tv slash The Refractor Line. We're there live every Wednesday. And subscribe below, guys. Thanks. Peace.